Today we'll be sharing some tips and tricks for storing cells that will help ensure your frozen stocks are of the highest quality. Cryopreservation of mammalian cells is a critical step in maintaining healthy and viable cells. This process can be stressful for cells due to the cryoprotectant and the low temperatures required for freezing. Therefore, it's important to have healthy cells. Before cryopreservation, cells should be in the log phase of growth, devoid of contaminants, and have high viability. Before beginning, make sure you have already prepared your freezing medium containing a cryoprotectant, such as DMSO. The DMSO concentration in the medium should be between 5 to 10%, depending on the cell line. Additionally, the medium can be either growth medium, serum, or commercially available freezing medium. Selecting the correct medium is cell line and application dependent and will need to be optimized to ensure the highest viability post-thaw. In order to determine how much freezing medium to add to the cells, you first need to determine what cell concentration and volume you would like to have in each cryogenic vial. From there, you can determine how many vials you can freeze based on your cell yields. In this example, there are 10 million cells. 10 mLs of freeze medium will be added to freeze down 10 vials at 1 million cells per vial. To ensure a single cell suspension, pipette up and down, aliquot the cells into the vials. Please note that the cryogenic vials are pre-labeled with all the important information such as date, initials, cell line, pass number, and concentration. Additionally, it's best not to fill the cryogenic vials right to the top because it will greatly increase your risk of contamination. Once the cells are aliquoted, you can begin the freezing process. Unlike thawing cells, the freezing process is a slow, controlled process. You want to give the cryoprotectant time to remove water from the cells, which reduces the chances of being damaged by the formation of ice crystals. A Corning cool cell container will be used as it controls the rate of freeze to 1 degree Celsius per minute without alcohol or any fluids. Once the cryogenic vials are in the cool cell container, they can be placed in a minus 80 degree Celsius freezer overnight. After 24 hours, the cryogenic vials are ready to be transferred to a liquid nitrogen freezer for long-term storage. Avoid storing the cells in the minus 80 degree Celsius freezer for long periods of time, as this may result in cell death. When storing cells in the liquid nitrogen freezer, it's important to store the vials in the vapor, not the liquid phase. This will reduce the risk of contamination and damage to the vials during thaw. It's important to know the level of liquid nitrogen in the freezer to determine what height the cryogenic vials should be stored. For more information on cell culture techniques, please visit corning.com slash cellculture.